Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new review Wednesday. I'm so excited to be finally doing more review Wednesdays for you guys. Before starting this video, I would like to say if there's anything you want me to review from new launches or old launches or just anywhere, just comment below. I am looking forward to your suggestions and to seeing what all can be brought into our segment of review Wednesday. But coming back to today's video, as you can see from the title, today we're going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lipsticks. I did get these in the PR but this is not sponsored i'm gonna be telling you my 100 honest review as always so yes let's just get started with the review for these babies i'm just gonna have timestamps for you right here as to when the swatches will start the pros and the cons and everything so let's go first things first these lipsticks come in a box like this it's a matte black box with golden work on it which is very classy and it has color coded top then it comes in seven shades but for some reason i see six shades everywhere i have six shades with me as well so we're just gonna consider these all color swatches because this is what the company sent as well so i'm just thinking the seven shade is probably not there for india i'm not too sure i don't know what's going on with launches in the indian market honestly so yes these retail for 650 rupees which honestly is not a bad price point for l'oreal given the fact that even maybelline has a similar sort of a price range in their liquid lipsticks and you get about 7 ml of product in these lipsticks which is great now when it comes to the actual packaging oh my god i love the packaging of these lipsticks this is what the packaging of the lipstick looks like again it's completely matte the packaging here is frosted and you can see the color but it's also color coded on the top so you don't need to keep it in a particular way upside down or anything of that sort so you can see it from here or here and then it says l'oreal which is slightly like it's not with the base it's a separate part right here really like the packaging uh, i just feel it's really nice now when it comes to the fragrance of these lipsticks they they smell like they, they smell like a very sweet hairspray. I don't know how to put it, but they smell like a sweet hairspray. It's not completely like a hairspray. I really cannot pinpoint on one thing that it smells like, but it does have a hint of sweetness to it as well. This is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It has a lot of product and you don't need to double dip for one application. You can apply a, a complete coat on your lips with just one, you know, dip out or you know what, whatever you call that whatever you call that and it is slanted so it's really easy to apply as well you don't have to apply it like that there are small things that make a product different so we have that when it comes to the packaging now let's go on to the texture the texture of these is very very watery they are not thick let me just quickly show you a swatch so you can see you can see how watery it looks it almost looks like a gloss it does take its own sweet little time in settling down i would say once you apply it on your lips it would take anywhere from 40 seconds to a minute and a half to dry down depending on how thickly you've applied the product it's very watery the pigmentation on these i would say is like a medium buildable pigmentation for the darker colors it is better for lighter colors like the one that i have on you do have to apply a little bit more than the darker ones it's time for a tiny throwback. Do you remember these babies? These are the Shine Caress by L'Oreal. I don't know if they're still making this or not, but they were the thing back in the day. If you want to know the texture of these lipsticks, this is exactly what it feels like. The only difference is Shine Caress did not settle down. It used to stay like a demi-matte or a gloss while this settles down to be a matte finish like what you see on my lips right now. Now, when it comes to the staying power or the longevity, these would stay on your lips from anywhere to three four to five hours depending again on the color i've seen that when i apply the lighter shades it tend to fade away faster than when i have the darker shade applied on also when i have the darker shade on when it goes away it leaves the tint behind on my lips while with the lighter shade it gives you a butthole lip and then you have a lip line as well now the best thing however about these liquid lipsticks have to be the fact that they're so comfortable to wear you don't even feel like you're wearing anything on your lips i worn these without a lip balm as well and if you guys know me you know my lips are dry and chappy and i cannot survive without a lip balm but these did not dry them out my lips weren't peeling or anything of that sort so if you're someone who has really dry lips and any lipstick or liquid lipstick in particular makes your lips peel these are the ones you should be looking out for 
again there is a difference when it comes to transferage of the shades the lighter colors transfer very less you don't even feel like they're transferring again maybe because they're light and you can't see them but with the deeper shades there was a very tiny bit transferage not a lot not something that i am mad at it's very very tiny doesn't even bother me to be honest so yeah that is all about the lipstick now let's quickly start with the swatches so you can see all of the colors in action and then we can move on to pros and the cons in true sg style review Alright, so those are all of the swatches and I hope it helped you guys. Now let's just quickly sum up the pros and the cons. Pro number one, it's easily available. Pro number two, the formulation is beautiful. Pro number three, they're light to wear on the lips. Pro number four, the packaging is beautiful. Pro number five, they're decently priced and if you find them on discounts, then even better. Now coming to the cons. Con number one, I would like to see more shades. The shades are kind of yeah seen that been there done that need something more or maybe just an extension maybe these shades are great we just need an extension with more shades because six or even seven shades i don't think is something that is enough i would want to see more shades personally then secondly these are do not have the greatest stay on the lips especially if you eat something oily they will just completely move away from your lips which come, brings me to another pro which is it does not transfer that much which is a pro uh then Con number three would be, what would con number three be? It takes a lot of time in settling down on the lips. So that is con number three. So that's three versus six. You guys or six versus three, whatever you want to you know <laughs> analyze us so i hope the swatches the reviews and the pros and the cons will help you in making your decision whether you want to go for these lipsticks or not again do not forget to let me know what you guys want to see next on review wednesday and i will see you guys next time till then take care Mwah. bye